Hi there, friends. It's Cynthia. Welcome to Equilibrium by Cynthia. It's great to be with you again. Tonight, I'm going to share my bedtime routine that I've been practicing, oh, probably for a month now. And I'm finding this deep diaphragmatic breathing before bed, coupled with some modified um, asana, the yoga poses, has helped me sleep like a baby. And you know, I was reading about the virus and all of our immune systems and how we can bolster them. And breathing is so important for cleansing the body of toxins. Also, sleep is the second most important thing in my book to keep me healthy and strong. I know when I'm well rested, I just don't get sick. So I'm hoping you'll join me tonight. 10 minutes, get yourself ready for bed. You're going to want to crawl right in there and go right to sleep after this sequence. Let's get started now by just coming to Downward Facing Dog using nothing but the bed. That's what I love about this routine. So stand here facing your bed and then hinge from the hips forward. Place your hands down, spread them there so that they're shoulder width and the fingers are spread wide. And then begin to walk your feet back until you feel a long catch in your spine. Now your knees are gently bent here until you get warmed up, dropping the tailbone towards the back and the crown towards the front here. Find the breath as you inhale and exhale. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears and exhale. And keep this breath flowing through the nose, the chest, the ribs, and the belly. And exhale through the belly, the ribs, the chest, and the nose. And finding now a little bit of movement, maybe swaying the hips side to side, stretching on the side waist. Mm, feeling very long and supported with your belly tucked up there into your spine. And then when you are ready, look forward, come to your tippy toes and round and roll your spine up until you come into a full on plank here. Hold for just a second, get your body long with your heels lifted off the earth. Pause here and then exhale. Take it back to down dog. Stretch the seat back, the heart back, the heels back and pause. Inhale and exhale. Moving with the breath. We're rising up. Same thing. Three times we curl it up. Coming so the shoulders are right over the hands. Let the seat Dip down towards the heels and then exhale. Take it back to down dog, finding that length with the breath as you breathe in. And breathe out, relaxing the head, maybe turning it no and yes. Rise up to your tippy toes, come to plank, hold it, ha. And then take a big exhale, push the hands, send the seat back and bow. Now maybe you're getting a little more flexible. You want to adjust your feet, walking them a tiny bit closer towards your bed. Belly pulls up and in to protect the low back. Let's breathe together. Inhale. Big exhale. Mm, rise up this time. We're coming into plank position and holding in plank position now. You want to feel your tailbone scooping down, belly drawing in. Walk your left foot in just about six or seven inches. Upright your body. Lift your right foot up to a beautiful lunge. Now the back leg, you make the adjustment. You've got your heel up back there. If you want more stability, go into a warrior one with the toes out and the heel down. Just make sure everything else is squared toward the top of your bed. Lift both arms up and to the sky. Slight back bend now as you sink the seat. Look up. And then exhale. Take your hands down to the bed. Lift your back heel and then place it back down so that your toes and your heel are lined up. And then come into a front forward Janusharsasana. Take a long straight leg, bend your standing leg, and then begin to just hinge forward just a bit here. Don't compromise your low back. You want to make sure that you've got your belly pulling in, your chest and heart lifted, and then just bow here for breath. And exhale. Keep the rhythm of your breath flowing. One more inhale. 
and one more exhale. Come back to your lunge, so shifting the weight forward, drawing the bandhas in. Leave your left hand down, open to a twist here, coming into your left hand, reaching up with your right, and opening and spiraling the right shoulder back. Breathe in. And exhale. Breathe here. And exhale, uncoil. Right hand down, kicking into three-legged dog. Now this time taking the right leg all the way up. Hips stay level and squared as you push the heel back. And then exhale, bend the knee. Open the hip. Stretch yourself there all the way through the whole right hip flexor, the right quad. And then inhale the legs straight behind you. Toe is pointed. And then exhale, square your hips. Place your right foot down. We're going to take it back to a down dog. Ah, get your body long, breathing in. And relaxing the heart, the shoulders toward the thighs. Let it go. Look forward, coming now upright. You're gonna bring your left leg up for that beautiful lunge. I like to just lift my body up, place the left foot down, and then hinge the hips forward. Back heel can stay up or draw it down. You're in high crescent or warrior one. Inhale, swoop the arms up. Engage your bandhas, look up there, and then let yourself come into a little back bend. Exhale, take the hands behind you, interlace them, stretch the arms back, opening up the shoulders here. Breathe in and breathe out. Coming now with your hands back on the bed, we're going to stretch the long straight left leg as you just bend your standing leg and bow. Staying here for three breaths. Inhale and exhale. Relaxing the shoulders, taking away any tension in the neck as you inhale and exhale. Ah, squeezing the muscles of your quad and stretching the tailbone back. Take it back to your lunge. Sink the hips forward, knee right over the front ankle, and then leave the right fingers down as you open up to a twist. Lean into your right hand, open your heart. You got it, big inhale. Big cleansing, exhale for your twist, belly draws in. And then take it back down. Maybe a back bend here, oh, feels good. And then kicking now into a three-legged dog, take your left leg to the sky. Reach up there with the left leg, ah, bend the knee. Take a little back bend. Take a stretch on the whole left side of your body as you feel your right leg on the earth now. Really getting a beautiful stretch. And then inhale, left leg long. And bring yourself square and let the foot come down. As you inhale, you're going to bend your knees a lot. Scoop the spine. We're standing up now, reaching the arms overhead, lifting upward salute, fingers tapping and the hands coming to the heart. You're doing great. Take your right leg, place it up on the bed, and then pivot your body open towards the left as you come into warrior two. You're just getting a really good inner thigh stretch. So as you bend your front knee, you want that knee right over the ankle. When you're ready there, take Parshvakonasana, elbow goes on the knee, left arm floats up to the sky. And drawing your left shoulder back, Seeing if you can keep your heart open. Breathe with me. Inhale. And exhale. Great job. Let's reverse it. Straighten your leg. Take your left hand down your side. Reach your right arm up. And then pivot around. Take downward dog. Kicking your right leg up to the sky. Let's open the hip right away. Breathe it. And exhale. Bend the knee. Inhale, straight leg. Exhale, square the hips, place the right foot down. Taking it to the other side. Now bend your knees a lot. Get your hands down there. In, put the weight of the body into the heel. Scoop the spine, roll up. Upward salute, we're getting long and tall. Fingers tapping. And then exhale, bring the palms together at your heart. 
Ah, great job. Let's do the other leg. Take that big step forward with your left leg and then open up your foot so that it's parallel. The foot on the earth is parallel with the bed. Bend your front knee, opening up the inner thighs. Beautiful. Take a big stretch. The elbow goes down. The left arm comes up as you feel that beautiful stretch there all through the inner thighs of both legs and through the left hip. Inhale, fingertips reaching towards the bed. And then as you exhale, let the hand come down, straighten the leg, reverse it. Slight lateral bend over the back leg. And then bend your knee, hands go down, kick it to your three-legged dog. Opening up the hip. Ah, beautiful stretch here on the standing leg. And let the shoulders draw down the sides of your waist as you push in with the heel of your hand. Bend your knee, stretch your quad, push the toes up towards your right hand. And then inhale the legs straight. Place your foot down. Walk your feet in. And then bend your knees. Roll your spine up one inch at a time. Open up with your hands all the way to the sky. Fingers tapping as you exhale. Bring them down to your heart. There it is, my friends. I hope you're feeling calm, relaxed, and knowing that you've just boosted your immunity with the cleansing breath and a beautiful, relaxing good night routine. Sweet dreams. Namaste.